Hello school counselors and school counselors to be. Thank you for coming by my channel, The Inspiring School Counselor. And today I am getting ready to show you guys how to do read alouds and upload it for your students. Um, I was so grateful that one of my viewers um, had asked this question and I wanted to bring this to you guys. So we're gonna do a, I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys um, once again with how to um, put together a read aloud video um, reading books. So I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe. Also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. All right, you guys, let's get into it. All right, you guys. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is to locate your camera app on your phone um, because you're going to be using obviously the camera app to take pictures of your book. So mine is right here. We're going to click on the camera app. So the next thing you're wanting to do is to now have your book in front of you so that you can take pictures. Um, now, I do want to say you want to be mindful when you are taking pictures because as you guys can see, this glare right here, um, it can make it hard for the students to see the pictures as well as for you to be able to read from it. So please make sure that you position your um, book to where you won't see that glare. All right, so you can play around with moving it. If it is that you have to change locations, do that and there you go. You have a nice location where you don't have that glare. And once you don't have that glare, you can just start taking pictures. You do wanna make sure that you have an even space around it because when you start cropping it, it's gonna make it look a whole lot better. So just make sure you give yourself enough room around the book so that you can edit, crop, and do all that, those things. So you just wanna take that picture, open the book, It's up to you whether you want to take pictures of the, you know, these pages. But I'm just going to skip to the first page. Now, as you guys can see, this is a really long page. So you can either take the picture like this, or if you feel like you want to turn your camera and take a picture like this, you can do so. So kind of just get it even. There you go. And you're just going to take pictures of each page. Now, once you do that, now you can start uploading your pictures to your computer or you can send it uh, via email. It's absolutely up to you. Now, also, I want to say if you wanted to edit your pictures on your phone, you can do that. It might be a little bit more easier because it's already on your phone. You can just go through it and edit them. Um, but if it's better for you to edit them on your computer, then do so. But for right now, I am going to edit them on my phone. So I'm just going to find my pictures. And I'm just going to go to my edit and I am going to get ready to crop the picture. So as you guys can see, so it's not absolutely perfect, but it's enough to where you can still see the title of the book. And there you go. Let's do the next one. So like you see this one, we're gonna edit it, crop, picture and you're just going to move it around now if it is that you want to and you have a rotation on your phone you can kind of play with the rotation too it's just how you want to edit it do whatever's fitting for you okay and then you hit done and there you guys go okay so we'll do one more we're going to edit this one so you can got kind of get a feel of it oops done okay so once you're done you can either choose 
to airdrop the pictures to your Mac if you have a Mac, or you can choose to email it, the pictures to your computer. Do what is best for you. All right, you guys, so I'm getting ready to now um, airdrop my pictures, but you might not can airdrop if you don't have a Mac computer and an iPhone. So all you have to do is just email it to your Gmail or put in your USB and do it that way. So I'm getting ready to airdrop mine. Okay. And I'm going to accept these pictures. They should be dropping now. And I'm just going to move them right here on my desktop. Now, I just did this for the sake of the video, just to give you guys an idea. But you will definitely have more pictures to upload than this. Okay. So now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is um, open up your Google Slides. So you're going to find that app here on the web. We're opening it. And now we're just going to open up a blank presentation. Okay. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move these pictures to the Google slide. And I'm going to go ahead and take these off. This is totally optional. You don't have to, but I'm going to. And I'm just going to duplicate those slides. I only need about three of them. All right, and then I'm going to drag my picture to my Google slide. And there you go. And you're just going to fit it to your slide. Just upload the next one. Actually, I think this is what comes. And you can kind of just play with the sizing. And sometimes, depending on where the words are, you might have to do a view uh, present just to see how it's going to look on the page. So sometimes if the words are up here, they might come off the page depending on how far you stretched it. So you just want to kind of check that sometimes. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do our next one. And we're going to stretch that. There we go. So now that we have all of that, um, I'm going to show you guys where you can go to um, do a uh, record it with Loom. www.loom.com. Now, I already have an account with Loom. However, if you don't have a, an account, I think right now these are the different prices that they have. And if you want the basic, which is what I have, that's my current plan. It's zero dollars, okay? So if you don't have it, go ahead and download it. And once you download it, you can put an extension um, on your Safari or your Chrome, whatever you're using, or you can just download the app to your computer if that's an option for you, like I did. And once you did do that, then you can start being getting prepared to um, video your read alouds. Right, you guys, so I want to show you what it's going to look like if you have it in your extension. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this little app once you have downloaded the extension to your browser or your computer. And once you click on it, this is going to open. Okay. Now you have the option to choose between screen plus cam which is gonna allow you to record your screen and give you a little camera you know, of yourself. Screen only, which is not going to give you a video of yourself. You can actually exit that and just record your screen or cam only, and it's only going to have a picture of you um, or a video of you. So just do what is comfortable for you. I was thinking about doing the screen plus cam only because that allows the kids to see me read it to them. But after you have chose that, you can hit start. And then now you have the option to choose to record this screen, screen one. Or if you have, or if you are sharing screens, you can choose to do that one. So it's absolutely up to you 
all these different options that you have. But I usually do screen one to where you can see everything that's going on, then you're gonna hit share. Then it's gonna give you some time, and there you go. All right, and you can choose to hide the menu if you want. Um, this is where you click to stop sharing or to hide that if you want to. It's absolutely up to you. Okay. I'm going to open menu. I don't know if you guys see those dots, but that's what you click on those dots. And then you can hit the green button. And once you hit the green button, you guys, it's going to take you to automatically a browser is going to open up and it's going to take you to a screen with your recorded video. Okay, so I want to show you guys that. Now, if you're doing it on your Mac computer, you could just go to this icon right here. And when you click on it, it gives you the same options. So we'll do screen plus cam. And then once you hit start, it's going to count down for you. Okay. And what I love too is that now you can stop it at any time. When you hit stop, that automatically saves it to the Loom website. Now, if you hit trash, it's going to delete it and it will not save. So you want to be aware when you guys are maneuvering. Also, now the pause button will just pause it really quick and then you can hit it to unpause it. Okay. So I am going to actually just turn that off really quick because we don't need that. Now let's go back to our presentation. So now that we're here on our presentation, now let's get it prepared. So we have all of our um, pages on our Google Slides, and depending on how many pages you have that you took pictures of will determine how many slides you will have. Um, but for the most part, we only have three um, slides. And you also want to make sure that you put this together in order, you guys, because I had my chair share when I when I didn't pay attention and I ended up, you know, mixing it up. So you just want to make sure you have the book on hand with you so that you can make sure it's in order. Now, when you are ready to present, all you need to do is just go to that icon, wherever it is, whether it's on your desktop or whether it is in the extension, click on it. Just keep in mind when you are starting recording, make sure it's on the setting that you want it to be on. And you're going to hit start recording. Okay, so now it's counting me down and it is starting to record. So I'm gonna make sure that my browser is big and I'm gonna to go to view, present. Now let's just say that you get to the where, you know what, I don't want this, my picture's in the way, you can always hide this if you want to, all right? So now we have Today I Feel Silly and Other Moves That Make My Day by Jamie Lee Curtis, illustrated by Laura Cornell. You might gotta go to the next one. Today I feel silly. Mom says it's the heat. I put roge on the cat and gloves on my feet. I eat noodles for breakfast and pay cakes at night. I dressed like a star and was quite a sight. Today, my mood's bad. I feel grumpy and mean. I pick up my room, it still isn't clean. I forgot to feed Franny and water the fern, and the cuckoo I'm making is starting to burn. The end. So once you realize that you are at the end of your book, just hit this red stop recording it's automatically going to open up a, your browser to loom.com. And as you guys can see, it is uploading it to that. So now it has recorded everything on your screen, but let's just say you don't want your students to see the behind the scenes. All you have to do is just go here and click on trim, start trimming, and you can scoot these up right up to the part where you start seeing the title. So now we have today I feel silly. Okay, so you might wanna back it up a little bit and then you can hit remove. And then now you can publish the changes. 
And as you guys can see, it's going to take some time for the changes to be published, depending on how long the video is or how short the video is. But once it is done, it's going to let you know. Like, for instance, it says 39 seconds. So now it is ready. So with that being said, you guys can download it to your computer. And you can hit that. It will download. And then you're able to paste it wherever it is that you want to paste it. Or if you want to keep it on, on Loom, you can always copy the link. But usually what I do is I download it. And it will take its time. It will download. And then I just drag it out here. And there you go. So now you have the full video. Now, usually the reason why I download it is because I can upload it to my YouTube channel for the kids. Now, you can download this. After you have downloaded it, you can open up Google Drive. And you can drop it inside Google Drive and it will load that up for you so that you can send it to your students, whether it's through Google Classrooms. Um, you can also place it in your uh, Bitemoji Classroom if you want to. It's totally up to you of how you want to get it to your students. And that is how you do it on Loom. So you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to explain it in such a way that it will be you know, easy for you guys to understand and able to do this for yourself. If you guys have any questions, um, anything that you would like for me to kind of do a how-to video on, please just email me at the inspiring school counselor at gmail.com. And um, if I can do it, um, I will be more than happy to. If I can't, I'll probably try to learn it first and then show you guys. And if there's just no hope, I will let you know. But um, yes, uh, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel, The Inspiring School Counselor. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a video. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to do read alouds through iMovie. So just be staying tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.